This is definitely the weather that we signed up for, for sure. This is much better than the last couple of days where it's been rainy and cold and damp and grey. Last night, the sun came out just in time for a spectacular sunset. And this morning we are off to Toulouse, which is incredible. Oh, the lock's open. Okay, so I'll cast you off and then I'll go around and I'll, um, I'll operate the lock. We had been in the canals for over two weeks and although we are going at a relatively fast pace and on the move every day, the atmosphere was still pleasantly sedate. The view from the cockpit was ever changing as we travelled through the beautiful French countryside. We would generally travel at allegedly four knots and every five or ten kilometres we would encounter a lock which would provide a little activity and excitement. We were now going downstream and most of the locks were also automatic which meant that in general negotiating the locks was a much more straightforward affair. However, we still had a few issues to sort through. Slow down! Okay, I can't do that again. Clearly, we still had to sort out how I was going to get back on the boat after every lock. So let's see how we go this time, me getting back onto the boat. Nick's now fashioned a fender board, not a fender board, a fender step. Unfortunately, we can't use those pontoons that are there for this very purpose because they've put these concrete bollards on either side of the pontoon, which is just a hazard for us. So we can't use them. <laughs> I can't get back on. There's not enough water for Nick to pull over. Really? Yeah. What's the depth? Yeah. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna try and get up to the footpath and go for a run. Right, I'm on the footpath now with like thousands of cyclists. So yeah, Let's see when I can get back on the boat. I'm ready when you are. One, okay, I've got you. Sorry, I just had to push the back. again and today we are going through Toulouse which is quite exciting this is going to be the biggest city I think on the entire canal system that we're going to go through um, unfortunately we can't stop because the, there is a marina but they've got finger pontoons and we really don't want to be dealing with finger pontoons with our overhang our mast overhang so we've decided unfortunately that this time we're going to just pass through the centre of um, town and out the other side. That's today's fun and games. The other thing that we're going to be doing is uh, for the first time there's a slightly different system I understand 
going through the locks where I have to, or Nick has to, one of us has to turn like a rod. Um, that, yeah, opens the gates, I guess. So it's instead of me getting off and pressing the button, we turn the rod and that opens the gates. I think that's how it works. And, uh, and I won't be getting off the boat. We'll just be going down with me on the boat, going down the lock with me on the boat, and um, I won't have to get off, which, even better, I won't have to get back on. So that'll be exciting. <laughs> no, I mean to like, do my, what, 10, 100 meter sprints of the day. Anyway, that's our day. Do you have anything that you want to share with the people? No, we're going, we've got an act without over the motorway. Yeah, you're, you're excited about that, aren't you? I think taking a boat, over a six lane freeway yeah. is, is something that we'll probably will only do once. Yeah. yeah. There's actually a, a runway in Paris that goes over the freeway. Really? I remember driving through it with my dad when I was a kid, like at night, like it was something like midnight, and just seeing a jumbo jet going across the bloody thing. I'm like, whoa. Well, the runway in Gibraltar was pretty nuts, wasn't it? That went like that interse intersected with the road. Anyway. But what I am impressed about in Toulouse is uh, like the canal is still so incredibly leafy and it just I mean we, we could just be in the countryside except that there's a thousand joggers and about a billion cyclists around us. How old do you think these trees are? Do you have any idea? Uh, no idea of plane trees yeah but you know the, the canal system is a couple hundred years old. The canal system is about 300 years old. It was so, completed yeah. in 1683. So if you keep like, livestock cool yeah. Stops evaporation and keeps the water levels up. Yeah. And as you said, the root system keeps the banks crumbling. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, another down the canal, but we don't know where today is going to lead us. We don't know where we're stopping. So that will be, yeah, that's that's an unknown element. I think, I think our basic plan for today is to get off the canal de Midi yeah. into the Gagon. Yeah. And that's kind of like our... That's, our, that's our goal. But this is our last time on the Canal du Midi. It's been good. It's been amazing. Like, I wish that we, you know, we, you, could, you could spend the entire summer doing the Canal du Midi. There's so much to see. There's so much to do. It's so beautiful. I think as you get more confident in your ability to handle the boat and the locks, it becomes less stressful. Yeah. And the first couple of days I felt stressed about it. I was it. stressed the first few days. You could tell that we were stressed the first few days because we were really snapping with yeah. each other. Every time we went to the lock, we'd like start snapping at each other. And yeah, I was like struggling to get a good night's sleep because I was just worried about the locks and everything. But yeah, you're right. And also, you know, it was the first time tying up to the bank and you know, just using ground stakes to hold the boat and yeah, lots of firsts in the first few days. Once we got past that staircase lock and once we cracked onto the obvious idea of using the boat hook to pick up the lines rather than you like throwing them at me, then that that was a game changer I think. Line handling is one thing. Yeah. Second thing was, you know, especially when going up to use a reverse spring to keep the nose out. Yeah. To yeah. stop the because we were smacking the <coughs> You know, the mask bucket, bucket. Yeah. Quite regularly. What I would say is that for anyone who's actually going to do the canals themselves, you know, we were told before we got onto the into the canals, and this is something that I was a little bit apprehensive about. We were told, don't get off the boat, just go into the locks, and the ecclesiastes will take your lines for you. It is so much easier to let a person off and to handle the lines yourself, the two of you than it is to be relying on the ecclesiae. Because half the time they don't even come out of their cottage until like they're ready to let the water in. We're about to go over the motorway. That, um, that sign means keep extra vigilant. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from all worries and trouble and sound When I go there to be by myself How would you like that? That was pretty intense. <laughs> That's cool, wasn't it? It's one of those things I don't think we'll do often in a boat. No, no, not often. Not an everyday sir. Well, I, I think unless we end up with another lift keel boat, that's a, that's a one-off, my love. Or barge. Or oh, barge, it's all a barge, yes. Here we are in the centre of Toulouse. Which is a bit mental, isn't it? Yeah, it is absolutely mental. It's 
crazy. There's an Irish pub. Yeah, I know. Oh! -ho! You want to pull over? <laughs> Just gonna get a couple of pints of the black stuff. Zero cinq, soixante, quinze, onze, quatre-vingt-dix. Alors ça c'est le numéro pour euh, l'écluse de Bayard. Alors merci. It means a lot. It means two lights, two red lights, means locks closed. Can you look at where the boat position is, by the way? Bonjour, monsieur. Um, du, nous sommes un bateau et à le centre de Toulouse et nous voulons uh, uh, ouvrir l'écluse de Bayard. Uh, nous avons uh, le bouton, mais ça ne marche pas. Il y a deux, rues, deux feux rouges. Uh, Ruby Rose. Nous sommes un bateau à voile de 12 mètres avec uh, la main. Et nous, euh, nous allons en di direction euh, de Bordeaux. Alors, à Mexique. Vous allez venir pour des clés. Le lock est juste sur cette bridge. Oui, je comprends où le lock est, mais deux rouges lights means the lock est out of action. Donc, so on a appelé around trying to find out what the problem is. Et un gars a juste walked up to us on the bank et was like, you can go, it's fine. <laughs> we're like, really? So we're we're going to go and actually so we can view the lock so we can actually look at the lock because we're just around the corner from it at the moment and then we'll reassess. Okay, we've got to pull up in front of this blue boat, yeah? You've got cleat. Are you happy with those fenders? Just get a midline straight onto that cleat there, please. Okay, put it in tight and back a little bit, yeah? The thing is, though, we can't even turn around now. I don't know what to do. English or French? How long have you been here? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. When did they get here? They've been here since 11. Okay. Did you hear the news? That why? What's wrong? Tell me about it. There's a problem with the lock. There's a propeller caught around the rope of the boat in the lock. Oh. It's been here and they, they're waiting for the fire brigade to turn up. So, a couple of lessons to be learned there is don't listen to random men on the side of the bank telling you that, no, it's fine, you can go. Mind you, in our defence, we try calling, what, three different numbers of the VNF, the, the, the committee who are supposed to be looking after the um, canal system, and no one was answering and or knew anything that was going on, despite the fact that this problem obviously has been going on for at least three hours. So yeah, here we are, and it turns out some lovely, was she Dutch? German and Dutch, I think. Um, lady who's in a boat that's also here waiting for the lock told us that the situation is that there is a barge in the Ecluse and that they have a rope stuck around their propeller. Uh, the boat in front has something caught around its prop. Yeah. He doesn't want to start his engine because he's worried about doing something to it. Yeah. He doesn't want to run the engine in reverse because he does worry about doing something with it. He, uh, the VNF, the people that run the canals, have just given them permission to call the fire brigade. So they'll have to send a dive team down. Um, and until we are, until his prop is clear, we're stuck here. Uh, they've been here three hours so far. Why can't they just open, the the is full, why can't they just open the gate and just tow him out? Uh, he said he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be pulled out. Well, it sounds like he's like making a lot of demands for someone who's stuck in a lock and holding everyone else up. Alright, well, that didn't take too long. It's only about an hour and now, I don't know what they did, but the, the divers came, they dove on the boat and now the barge is going down in the lock. So, uh, yeah, we will hopefully be able to go through next. And because it's an automatic system, I'm hoping that we don't have to do anything. I don't know. So babe, I want at least two meters between the tip of the mast and the lock gates, yeah? 
Well, there's a, there's a pole there. Put it. Go for the pole. I think I'm going to be holding this by the tip of my fingers on tiptoes. I'm going to let go, babe. No. <laughs> At least we're moving forward. So join us next week as we continue our peaceful meander up the Garonne and also find the amazing medieval monastery at Poissac. 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 <laughs> so feel free to subscribe, drop us a comment, leave us a like and we'll be back next week. Bye bye. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive